Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crip Life. Today I want to show you how I prepare some food. Sorry if I make you hungry. This is my big boy sippy cup from which I drink two protein shakes a day. Uh, it's the Garden of Life raw meal and it's got 20 grams of protein in each shake, 8 ounces of water plus a scoop and it's real easy to drink down, make sure it's cold. This stuff has changed my life. It's helped my bowels out. It's helped everything out. Amino acids, uh, probiotics, all natural. Uh, I don't get a plug from this company, but this stuff is awesome. I recommend it for anyone. Tons of B vitamins. It's almost like an energy drink. Although I can pick up a bottle, as you'll see here. Can you see me? Here. My sippy cup I use for the shake so that I can actually shake it up. It's amazing how quickly the sediment will settle. Oh yeah, get the vanilla. Oh yeah, get the vanilla, not the chocolate. This is how I get pizza. This is how I get pizza out of the freezer. Now we got the scoop forward and tap it back so I can get access to this box here and then I will slide it out and do my best to balance it on my hand. And that's how I get pizza out of the freezer and most other things. This is how I open a pizza box. And I apologize if this will freak you out. I use my teeth for a lot of things. Seeing as my hands don't work, maybe I have to improvise one way or another. And then I can slide the pizza out on my lap. I'm going to use that later in the top. I'll show you. Now I use my lap for a lot of things. As it's always there. I'm the kind of guy, you know, you can't tell that joke to me. What do you lose when you stand up? Well, it pays to have decently sharp scissors. And I go ahead. Yep. And we got to poke the, the wrapper. And then we just slide across. And now... Then we turn the pizza, and we find the slice of the piece of cellophane, and we push, oh, come on, there we go, and slide, and cut, rotate one more time, and then we slide, and cut, this way across there, open it up, and now, now we can remove the wrapper, excuse me Slater, get back, my puppy dog was trying to help me here, but he just wants to eat this frozen pizza. Work the wrapper around, and turn off the shoulders, get the meat off there. Obviously, it's a meat lover's pizza, and some of this is loose, and some of the dog is going to get. That's all right. Here's a little treat. Right now, again. So then I work that, I just balance the pizza on my hand, about to lose that, pull that up, and then I have the pizza ready to go in the oven. Now, I usually tend to have to push some of these meats around to make it nice and no, relatively consistent. And if you're wondering where I got this pizza, because for a quick, later on, I'm going to move this piece of pepperoni over here. And this is a cream of Italian mother of meat. This is how I get things into the oven. Again, it's a balancing act. And do my best not to lose this. Slide it in the oven. Set her in there for 20 minutes at 425. In order to get the pizza out of the oven, I use the pizza box. Now, this Screamin' Sicilian comes with a little mustache cut out so you can put it in your nose and wear a mustache like the guy on the cover. But I use it to put my thumb through and I use it to scoop the pizza up uh, off of the rack and balance it on my lap. So 
fry it next to the oven, open her up. Now, of course, I've let this cool enough so that I can touch the rack without burning myself. Of course, I touch it very quickly so I don't risk burning myself. And I have to slide this delicious pizza forward. Oh, I lost a piece of sausage. I get it so that the pizza's hanging right off the edge a little bit. Get this box in my hand, kind of like a painter's palette with my thumb in that hole. Slide the box underneath the pizza. And then I can do my best to balance this. Make sure that's it's on there, good. Then about to slide this in there. Find some pizza. Balance it. Be careful. And then bring it up. You can't see this, but I've set it on my lap. And then we have a delicious pizza. And I got it out of the oven. Now I can slice her up. Just got to get her on the table. And in order to do that, curl her back a little. Up, up, back a little bit. Make sure you slide it up on the table. And to slice her up, use a chopper because I really can't handle a knife very well and I can't really handle this very well but uh, it's the best I can do and I chop Well, you might comment on how poor that I hit 50 50 on this, but hopefully you can't see that. Anyways. Ah, that's how you slice. See how my 50 hands don't work too good? And I'll just turn it. And I'll cut a slice. Yes. Yes, I apologize for making it happen. I tried to use it on a roller cutter, but I can't rip it. These are my special gloves. You want to need a pot or pan out of the cupboard, and come over here going. Slide it out. Get my finger down in the hole. Get okay, your mines out of the gutter. And I pick it up like so, which is uh, convenient. I can do the same with other pots and pans. And put it away as well. When I want to make tacos uh, or anything else I need to stir or anything, I need to have this uh, pretty cool glove that I actually got for working out with, holding uh, weights and that kind of thing. But uh, it helps me hold a spatula so that I can get in here and a venue of some kind. And here's how I cut the cheese. I go to the chopper again. Got to get to the chopper. I just let the cheese warm up outside of the fridge for about a half hour. And then the knife glides right through it. soft food anyway and I've got these cups that strap my knife into my hand and a fork here 
and they come in. Cut. Best I can. don't work I need something to pick things up with so I use shish kebab skewers in order to pick a lot of things up for instance this chili cheese sausage and I just kind of lace it in my fingers so it kind of can't really go anywhere and then I slide the tray out so I don't burn the fingers get it so I can push and skewer at the same time and then I get the you were through there, I've got it speared, and then I kind of prop it under and balance it under my hand, oh. and uh, so I can then have to put it in the roll on my lap because I need uh, to be able to hold on with the other hand. My go-to snack are chips. I'm a salt freak. And, well, since my hands don't work anymore, I'm useless trying to do that. So I had to come up with a, a way to open my chips. And the way I do it is nice and easy. Actually, I kind of modified this from a buddy of mine in college. Every time he would get so far down in a bag of chips, he would cut the, the neck a couple inches off. So you're not reaching down into some crazy bag. So I figured, well, why can't I just do this? Come in. Cut. And I don't cut all the way across. I leave it like this when I do this because it's nice and custom. And then I have a place to hang them off of my finger. I can pull them in and out of the cupboard easy. And um, well, there's another way I can open the chips. So when I'm feeling like living on the edge, I, uh, I take a, a towel. Put it in my lap. I take the, the bag of chips and well, just like we all like to pop bubble wrap. Well, and the reason I put the towel here is because it didn't open on top this time, like it's supposed to. With the towels, I can just flip it upside down. I did lose one. There may be another. I think I fell before. I, right after I uh, popped it. So this worked out perfect. It's opened up. It's got a little thing on there. I can hang it off my finger as well. And uh, works like a champ. That's how I open my chips. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll appreciate the props. Until next time, make sure you adapt, overcome, and keep on keeping on.